My show is cooking the beat. Party for show. Tell everybody you know. We find a whole nother wave. This about to hit up the coast. I see the look in your eyes. I know that look in your eyes. I know you know it's a vibe. Hey, this finna ride. Homie, don't you even try. Nothing but love up inside. Hey, we got the glow. So don't you be throwing no shade. Hey, we do it all for the name. Yeah, cause we ain't never been the same. It's all up, baby. Leveled up, yeah, I upgraded. We stay on a replay till the DJ just put it in rotation for motivation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. Y'all know I love y'all, right? This tutorial was not supposed to go up until next week, but I had to push it up for y'all because I felt like it deserved the Friday slot. So many of y'all have been asking me about this hair tutorial. It is ridiculous. Under all of my photos where I posted this look, you guys have been like, I don't care about what you're saying in this caption. I'm trying to figure out these hair details. So I got y'all. So today I'm gonna be showing you all how I achieved this look, how I prep my natural hair and everything. And don't worry, the faux lock styling tutorial is coming. I think I'm going to post that on Sunday so you all stay tuned. All right, so now let's get into how we're about to fake fast natural hair growth and have everybody fooled. Y'all, we're doing it with this icy hair unit. Y'all know I've shown you guys quite a few units from them and I love their kinky curly texture. Y'all are probably not going to believe this, but I achieved that look with a hairband wig. And I'm going to show you guys how to hide the band so that it's concealed and you don't see it. I will show you all what the unit looks like with the band, but I'm also going to show you all with out. Now I kind of messed up a bit for this tutorial because I did get the wrong length. I got this unit in length 20 which I think is a length that most people would like so I think it is still good. However for the length of what you guys saw in my photos I probably had length 22, 24. I just remember trimming it and I thought maybe if I get length 20 then that'll be the right length but I think it is a bit too short. So just keep that in mind. If you desire the exact look that I had get either lint 22 or lint 24, that's gonna be better. So right now I'm just showing you all what the hairband wig looks like on the mannequin head. If you are a natural or just like somebody who wants to switch up your look really fast, I'd highly recommend hairband wigs. They are my go-to, I love them. They're so quick and easy to install, they're beginner friendly and they are just amazing. Like you can switch your look up so quickly with these. So right now I'm showing you all the length. I did actually fold under the headband in the front to demonstrate to you guys how we're gonna hide the band. I'm gonna show you all how I actually install it that way later on, but I did wanna show you guys really quickly what that looks like. So now let's get into natural hair prep. This is what my natural hair looks like. It's freshly washed. I do have conditioner in it. I decided to deep condition while I go through the process of defining the curls on the headband wig. So I'm just showing you all the shape of my hair. Y'all know I recently got it dyed black and it looks so good. I took my locks out and right after I was like, I need to wash and deep condition this hair, make sure my natural hair is in good condition and then show you all this install. So now we're about to go through the process of conditioning the kinky curly headband wig. Now I've shared in the past, whenever you wanna make sure that your curls are popping on your kinky curly units, don't just install them right out of the package. They might look really great right out of the package, but you're not seeing the curls full potential if you don't actually co-wash and define the curls. So just before this clip, you all saw me adding conditioner. I did use the 7-in-1 Aussie conditioner. I always use that. And I'm also using the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush to define the curls. Now, I got the question about how much water I use, if I just use water from the spray bottle or if I actually submerge the hair underwater in a sink or in a shower. That's what I did. So now that I've co-washed the hair and defined the curls, this is what the unit looks like. The curls look so much better. Now, after I complete this process, I use my detangling brush to further define the curls. And I did leave a bit of the conditioner in the hair. So that's what you all are seeing on the brush. So that's gonna act as our styler. After the curls are defined to your liking, you can use a towel in order to scrunch the curls so that you can get a bit of the excess conditioner out of the hair. This also helps to give the curls more of a rounded look on the ends. And then after we complete this process, I follow it up with a bit of Icy Fantasia heat protectant, which is a product that I like to use for shine. Now I'm gonna allow the unit to air dry overnight, but while we're doing that, I do wanna prep my hair the night before as well. So this is what it looks like without any conditioner in it. Y'all, the shape, the color looks so great. Y'all had not seen it in this state yet after I went to the salon the last time, and y'all, I've been loving it. But let me tell you, once I actually dry it, 
Listen, my shrinkage is real. So after using the microfiber bonnet in order to get some of the excess water out of my hair, I like to spray on leave-in conditioner and this is a liquid leave-in. This is one that my stylist recommended. It's from the salon and y'all, I love it. It actually smells like Fruit Loops and it has so many great ingredients. I've talked about it before. I'll be sure to link it down below as well as all the other natural hair growth products that I've been using. So after spraying on the liquid leave-in, I follow that up with the oil from the salon, which is called the drip. So I put that all over my scalp. And then I'll also take some more and apply it to my hands and apply that to my ends. And then I do a scalp massage, which I didn't actually include in this video. I also make sure to apply it to my edges because you all know on this channel, we are all about healthy edges. After doing this, y'all look at my shape. The shrinkage is crazy. My hair looks like a TWA or tapered cut like when I originally big chopped. It is insane. For this style, I like to use a middle part. So I'm gonna part my hair off. And then after doing this, I'm gonna section my hair off in the back Back, and I'm gonna apply some really great products to the back of my hair and then braid that up tuck that away and then I'm gonna proceed to work on the front. I'm gonna allow you all to watch this process and then I'll come back on when we move on to the next step. Oh, and I do wanna mention that for this style, you are gonna have a bit of leave out. So you wanna make sure to leave out hair on both sides of your part and then right behind the part, make sure that you leave out enough hair to cover the unit in the back. We'll get to how all of that is done in a moment, but I just wanted to mention that for now. <music> pause here for a moment and explain this portion because I know I have some newbies. I've done it before, but I do want to show you guys again. So I like to cover the back of my head with a stocking cap and I use that in order to stretch my leave out in the front. So what I'm going to do is take my leave out, stretch it to its longest length around the nape of my head, and then I'm going to cover it with the stocking cap and that's going to keep it stretched overnight. And by the morning, my hair will be stretched out. The curls are going to be really defined and it's going to look really good and blend well with the unit. This last step is optional but I feel like it really helps to get my edges laid so I like to apply got to be glue gel around the parameter of my hair and then I mold and shape my baby hair get my hair looking nice and sleek and don't worry about the white residue that does dissolve
completing this process, I will apply a satin scarf to the front in order to allow my edges to set overnight. And then I will begin the install. All right, beautiful people, it's the next morning and it's time to install this wig. So I'm gonna remove my satin scarf and y'all look how good these edges look. If you've tried my method, leave a comment down below, let them know. <laughs> now y'all know I'm extra and I like to do the most sometimes. So I'm gonna be filling in my edges a little bit. I don't like for them to look sparse in any way. I wanna make sure they look full, they look beautiful and black. So I am gonna be using the topic in order to fill them in and then I'll come back on. Hey, All right, so now it's time to install the headband wig. I am gonna remove my stocking cap later on, but I decided to show you guys what the unit looks like with the headband. So I'm gonna do that now, and y'all, it looks so gorgeous. I love the length, the way it is with the headband style and with the other look as well. But I'm telling you guys, get the longer length if you want the look that I had in the photos specifically. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking about you. About you. This Tuesday, I had you on my mind like a toupee, and that sense I gave you that wedding ring. I'm noticing all the little things, and that's real, real, real. It's the little things, little things. All right, now that I've shown you guys what the unit looks like with the headband, now I'm going to show you guys how to hide the band and do the natural hairstyle that you guys came here for. So as you all can see from doing the stretching method that I shared, my hair is really stretched. It looks great, and it's going to blend well with the hair. Y'all, look at how defined my curls are. That curl defining glaze along with the eco styler pair so nicely. You all have to try that combo. So now after doing this, I'm going to switch out the stocking cap that I had on previously and replace it with a black one. Put that on over the braids that I have in the back and proceed to put the unit on over. Now that my hair is fully protected in the back, I'm showing you all the combs on the unit. Those are gonna be vital for this install. So we are tucking the band, but we're going to secure the unit on using the combs. So I'm gonna insert the comb at the top first, and then I'm gonna insert the combs on the side. After doing this, I'm gonna proceed to take my hair, connect it with some of the hair from the unit, and then I'm going to roll tuck and pin it down. Starting with the leave out behind my part, I'm gonna pull that over the unit, making sure that I secure that down with a bobby pin, and then I'm gonna proceed to gather hair from my leave out along with hair from the unit. I'm gonna roll, tuck, and pin that down, secure it, and it's gonna look so great. This is such an easy style, and I love it. Y'all, I've been rocking this all the time. <laughs> Those lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the high life. Dress to impress like it's prime night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dreams since we was kids. Big tips, big cars, and even bigger cribs. Never thought that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to move than the hot life. So many different things to do than the hot life. So now for some awesome finishing touches, I'm adding some of the Icy Fantasia heat protectant for shine. And then I'm taking the Melanin Hair Care product. This is their leave-in, and I'm gonna coil the ends around my finger in order to chunk the curls more. This is also not a necessary step, but y'all, it makes a major difference. I feel like it takes the curls to a whole other level. And this hair looks better and better over time. Let me tell you, it starts to swell a little bit and the products just really infuse into the strands and it just looks so good. Let's go food and drinks, but who makes you think that this life's made for a king? So many different things to do within the heart. 
And now it's girls, 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 I get dumb. The coupon he said too, but in the back I got four. Talking about this high life, I mean as high as it go. That's kites, planes, clouds, the bank accounts that I own. Funny thing, it all started from a pen and a poem. Whoever thought that this could pay off all of my student loans? About to throw a party, invite everybody I know. Let me send a fast text to everyone in my phone. That's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. All right, y'all, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it. This was a highly requested tutorial, and I had to get it up for y'all. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Check the description box for all the links and specifications for this unit, all the products I use. Everything will be listed down below. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Tutorial. Bye, guys. It's just a different way to move in the high life. So many different things to do in the high life. Let's go food and drinks. So my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. So many different things to do in the high life. Talking about this high life, I mean, as high as it go. Easily adapted to the highlight. Talking about this highlight, I'm doing this high as it go. Easily adapted.